realized to be able to uh, fly, powered flight, they needed to come up with an engine. They decided, or they calculated, they had to have an engine that couldn't weigh more than 180 pounds and had eight horsepower. Their engine came in at 200 pounds, but it had 12 horsepower. The museum back in 1993, 10 years prior to the centennial, decided they wanted to have a prototype of the Wright Flyer engine. Three of my predecessors in the machine shop in two and a half years made two engines. And this one has run on the anniversary every year since. And it's very simple. It doesn't have any spark plugs, it doesn't have a carburetor, it doesn't have an oil pump, it doesn't have a fuel pump, it doesn't have a throttle, but it runs. After their fourth flight that morning, they took a a break for breakfast. And unfortunately a gust of wind came up and broke off one of the motor mounts. And it, their engine never ran since. A fragment of the right flyer, a piece of wood and fabric to the moon on Apollo 11 in honor of the Wright brothers. I will run this just for a very short time because in the past we've had problems running it too long and we burn the exhaust out. The glass valves needed to be made out of aged cast iron. My predecessors in the machine shop found some in a junkyard here in San Diego. The valves in this engine were made from a Coronado manhole cover. I said I'm going to run it for just a short, very short period, but you will know what it sounded like in 1903 back in Kitty Hawk.